probably have to look into that later. That light bullet laying down. I'm gonna be careful. And we win. So, flying sword style, interesting. It's got its cool little abilities, especially if you get the higher up ones and you have the freeze elemental. Kind of pause them in place. A nice little blade spin. Alright, this time around, I'm gonna use my forbidden character, uh, Hai Shuang, if I pronounce that correctly. If I didn't, forgive me. I'm an American who only speaks English and swear words in some different languages. Uh, <laughs> I called him the Forbidden Character because I was looking for the Chinese translation for the word pest. And this is what it gave to me, and I'm guessing it's bad because I can't even upload them online for other people to use them. I thought it looked cool, but... <sighs> That's the one thing that makes me sad. Lu Bu in this version of the game seems ridiculously easy. Before, like achievements or trophies or anything else in the older Dynasty Warriors, if you went to fight him, your option, your only real option was to run. If you actually could manage to defeat him, which more than half the time was damn near impossible, I've done it, I'm not saying it is impossible, it's really hard to pull off, that was an achievement in itself. This time, he's, you get cool little cinema for him, and everybody's like, oh my god, it's Lu Bu, and that's, that's about as much as you get. Alright, um... Oh, I was looking at his, not mine. Dumbass. I was looking at, uh, I thought I was the red one for a moment, I'm the green one. Uh, I will say, though, out of all the different weapons, Curved Sword seems to have the most fluid strikes. I mean, it's very seamless how you go from one attack to another. Not to mention that some of the coolest anim animations for attacks as well. Oh, crap! She done? Yeah, she done. Uh, I don't think so. See, that's the trick. You gotta kind of like juggle them. If you see them coming off a bounce before they touch the ground or if they're in midair after a hit, that's when you gotta strike. Oh, I made the mistake of splitting up this time around. Usually I stick with them. Um, probably gonna head back to him. I don't wanna leave him on his own. I'm coming, buddy. Wee! It's like a little spin blade. See, it's still mostly like a twist of the blade for the attacks, but it kind of just goes from one to the other. kind of just reminds me of a Dragon Ball Z attack. I mean, he was evil, he's got a blade, I'm like, I gotta give it to him. That just makes the most sense if he's gonna be truly evil. It's almost like a death ball. Where do you think you're going? You're not running away. Alright, lift down. No, I'm super fast. Oh, wait, there's guys down there. Can I get to them? Probably go down here. There we go. Dare you. Nope, don't think so. Throw another one. Take all the death balls. I'm sorry, I was terrible me. I've probably done it more times than I should. Forgive me. <laughs> oh, caught him in air. Hopefully I can capture him for him. Because I know he used a dragnet, which uh, 
if you defeat an enemy officer while you see that little icon, you have a greater chance of actually uh, having them join you. So hopefully I helped him out in that regard. Alright, so you're taking over just about everything. All that's left is the little bases to capture the main base area. Well, yeah, I mean, you've probably seen me do the most amount of damage as this guy. Uh, the fighting style of my character with the fists, I kind of wanted to make them as far as like a character idea. More of a brawler, which is why you see him with the giant fists. And it does some decent damage, and it has the advantage of their blocking. I could say, screw you, and just go through their block attack anyways without special abilities. But you're kind of limited to the amount of attacks you have, so it kind of looks repetitive when you're doing it. But it's still a lot of fun. I mean, especially when you're flipping over guys, slamming them in the ground, getting into, like, wrestling-type maneuvers by grabbing them by the feet and doing the big swing. Alright, now to take on the main base area. It's complete and utter annihilation. Total devastation! It's kind of cheap to spam it all day, but it gets the job done! Alright, well, where's the... Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry, did. That's how Runeseeker and I get it done. <laughs> Alright, this time it's actually going to be the final battle. The uh, Rune Seekers just informed me that this is going to be the last one to actually clear the scenario. So hopefully, I helped him actually get the achievement for beating Chaos. Oh wait, why do I have that sword? Switch. Back to my fists. Alright. But yeah, like I said, before, I just have so much fun with my brawler character. Uh, obviously, he's named Anthony because it's supposed to be more or less his model after me as I possibly can. Obviously, no chin strap. He's not overweight. Which I guess I probably should have made him if it was supposed to be me. But hey, you know what? I'm supposed to be like a hero character, so I can embellish a little bit. I think I have that right. But even the outfit, as you can see, is the way I have them designed. It's more of a western style. Kind of went for almost full warden, minus the helmet. I split up again. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take this middle area and get back to Rune Seeker. Oh, what's this? Now the question is, who just got Pitfall? Was that? Oh! This guy has special ability. That's kind of messed up. Oh, oh no! Shoot. Uh, see, this is where Chaos gets more difficult. When you have multiple... Oh, crap. Yes, okay. Thankfully, one of them used Unity. Oh! Double team. But when you have multiple officers chasing after you like that, uh, they can get you cornered pretty quickly, and it won't end pretty. You think you're going light speed? Uh-uh, I don't think so. Not on my watch. I think I'm gonna take the main base. Yeah, I'll take one of the side bases. Wants to be complete defeat. <laughs> the big swing! Yeah, but um, for not going for these special attacks, 
I guess what I was going for is it was supposed to be more of like the whole thing with uh, Chi and Ki as far as the body's energy. It's supposed to be like the character is able to master using that kind of energy to do elemental style attacks. It's lame, I don't care. It's sad they come up with stories for characters in my head. <laughs> Oh, where'd you think you're coming from? Oh, no, I don't think so. I wasn't going to be able to block or dodge in time, so i got to use one of my special abilities, but that's okay. I think like it does a lot of damage anyways. Fire Blast from all. Zero G. Oh god! Even with the specials again! Can't sneak up all the way that. That's not very nice. out the room here a little bit. The flash freeze them in place. Take out some of their officers. And we did it! So, so, that'll do it. Hopefully I read right and that was the final one needed and you're able to clear the scenario. If so, great. So that means you got your trophy, hopefully, or at least you're closer to getting it. Well, Overall, I mean, it's, it was a lot of fun. I definitely wouldn't mind doing it again, so I'm pretty sure you're going to be watching this. I know you're one of my subscribers. So if you're ever up for another go at Dynasty Warriors and I'm available, definitely send me a message. And I'd absolutely be happy to play. And to anybody who's watching this, just like the other videos I've probably mentioned before, uh, if there's a game that you're interested in playing with me, doesn't matter what the genre is, as far as platform is concerned, I have Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. I'm sorry I don't have a Wii U. Uh, maybe one day. <laughs> but if there's a game you're interested in playing on a certain uh, platform that you'd be interested in playing and being a part of this Gaming With project, definitely feel free to contact me. We can definitely work something out as far as that's concerned. I'm more than happy doing so, even games I'm not too fond with. The point is to show gaming is gaming, and we should all be having a good time, regardless of what platform or what game. Everybody has their own likes and dislikes. I mean, there's pros and cons to every system, and we shouldn't be hating on one another. Games are games. Get playing.